What's going on guys? This is Jeremiah Payne here at Frost Leather and today we're going to look at a Humble Lamb Bible. And I want to tell you guys why this Bible is great and what it is best suited for. Now I want to show a comparison. Here is a Cambridge Turquoise. This is certainly a full-size Bible. It's almost 10 inches, about 7 inches. And this is a great Bible. It's got double column, it's got verse by verse, it's got great print, great paper, and I can also do this, right? That's amazing, right? We love it. This Bible's great for preaching, but what this Bible is not great for is for reading big portions, large portions of it. Number one, when I hold it, it does that. See that? See if I could get a better. No matter where I hold it, the text gets lost on that direction. The text gets lost in that direction. Now, it's not a big deal. I'm not complaining. But I love the Word of God, and I want to immerse myself in the Word of God. And wherever you put your money shows where your treasure is. So don't let anybody convict you for having many premium well-made Bibles. You love the Word of God. You cherish the Word of God. And you enjoy the Word of God made in a premium way that honors it. You know, if you have a bonded leather Bible, that's wonderful because it's the words that matter. But we enjoy a well-made, put-together Bible that will last a long time. I used to buy Bibles every year, a new Bible every year because I would go through it. Now, my Bible will last a decade. That's a great thing to think about. So here is a full-size Bible, great for preaching, but not the best for reading. That's where this humble lamb, NASB 2020, history Bible comes in. This is a great, great Bible. Now, whoever thought of on these uh, Bibles that have been recently made to do all the embossing sideways, they should be found and be guilty of something because they done messed up. Uh, I like the classic Holy Bible going that way. Uh, but with Humble Lamb, that just looks good. The fact that it says the Word of God... They have Bibles that says the Word of God this way. I prefer it this way. This is the only publisher that I like how their spine has embossing going this direction. They just do it right. I don't know why. I just love it. Now, this isn't a large Bible whatsoever. You know, here's a full-size Cambridge Turquoise, and here's a Humble Lamb in comparison. It's certainly a smaller Bible, but it, it, it's certainly chunky also. This Bible's about a little less than 10 inches by, I think, like 7 inches. And this humble lamb here is uh, almost 8 inches by 5 inches. So it's a smaller Bible, but it's a chunky Bible. But where this Bible shines is the fact that I could hold it with one hand and read all of the text. So this Bible, like having many knives, you know, if you're a hunter uh, or you're outdoors guy, you have a different hunt, different knife for your fish. You have a different knife if you're out hunting. You have a different knife if you're 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 building out there in the woods. Uh, having different tools help you. So having different Bibles for different applications is a blessing so that you can continue to immerse yourself in the word. This humble lamb Bible is, I can't think of a better Bible for somebody to purchase to either use as maybe a one year reading plan Bible, just because of the layout, because you have the single column, you have the paragraph format, you have the drop text, uh, the drop caps, right? So it makes just for a beautiful experience. Uh, you have these pictures. It's just, you know, like look at this experience versus this experience. 
This is a great, you know, you got the word of God. You could preach from it. You don't lose your place. This Bible fits a great need that I need to have in a Bible. But this Bible right here, the experience that it gives to have this Bible maybe next to your nightstand or maybe on the end table on your couch or on your coffee table uh, or when you make your coffee in the morning and you go to the kitchen table, you have your coffee and you're going to do your devotions. This Bible is so good for that. And there's two reasons why this Bible in particular is great. Uh, besides the features, number one, Humble Lamb as a publisher. They're a smaller publishing company, but they're a great publishing company. And uh, right, Cambridge is awesome, but they do many different things. They're a huge organization. So purchasing a Humble Lamb Bible, you're supporting a smaller publishing company. Number two, this is the New American Standard Bible translation, NESB. The 2020, the people at Lockman are wonderful. I personally uh, am in contact with uh, a person there. They're more like a small family business. And I've tried to contact many publishers. And Lockman is the only one where I have been able to, one, get a hold of them, have consistent conversations with them. I mean, they email me and, and call me and we work on things and talk about things. They are a great, great company. So besides the fact that this is a well-made Bible, the two Humble Lamb and Lockman Foundation in producing this Bible is just a beautiful thing. Look at that. Look at all the drop cap caps. Sacrifices, Solomon again made king. The only Bible I could say comes close to this one is a Cambridge Clarion. But again, that doesn't even touch this Bible because of its feature set. Now, this Bible has great paper, great print. Uh, I'm not here to give all the exact specifics of this Bible. I just want to show this Bible is great for its application. You're not going to be able to fold this Bible in half by any means. It's just going to fit well in your hand. It's going to lay great on a table. And you're going to be able to do your devotions. And it's going to be a joy to read from. You're going to love it. And Humble Lamb, look at the Nobody's doing this. Uh, I think maybe a couple publishers are doing drop caps like that. But not that beautiful. Uh, their blue letter and their text is the cleanest out of all the publishers, they have the best font that they're using. And nobody is doing forage gilding. Nobody's doing that. They're using real goatskin leathers. I mean, this is, there's publishers that are putting out premium editions and their liners, I could grab it right here and I could pull on it and it'll tear all the way across. Humble Lamb is doing solid goatskin covers. They have great spines. I mean, if you purchase this Bible, I'm telling you, you will love it. And read it, do your devotions with it, put it on your nightstand, and you are going to be a happy, happy, happy camper. So there's a look at the Humble Lamb history. And this is the London Red. Now, I was also thinking of doing a... Uh, taking this Bible apart and showing you what it looks like on the inside. And maybe, you know, because of those hubs, it keeps it kind of stiff. So if you're interested in seeing me take apart this Bible and seeing if I could modify this to lay flat, let me know in the comments. I've never taken apart a Humble Lamb Bible with a leather line cover yet, so I don't know how it's going to go. So it'll be a great learning experience. And uh, that's the only way to kind of figure out things. you got to tinker. So if you would like to see me take apart this Bible, try to modify it so that it'll lay flat and put it back together, let me know, like this video, and put a comment below. Show us the Humble Lamb demo. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. Bye-bye.